Hello everyone. Today we are here to solve the exercise 3.6. Your optional questions. Our first question is question number seven. The first part that is p x plus q y is equal to p minus q. Q x minus p y is equal to p plus q. In this type of question, you can use any method to find out the value of x and y. But you can use cross multiplication. That will be very easy in compared to the other two. Just see, we are having the constant term in literal constant there because they are not having the numerical value. So your constants are is equal to the right hand side. So you can take the format x y minus one. Now, as I told you, we'll be writing the coefficient of y first. So this will be on the first position. So we are here with q minus p. The second position is for this term, which is equal to the right hand side. This is your p minus q, and here it is p plus q. This is the third position. So this is your p and q. And again, your first position will be repeated. That is fourth position. This will be your Q, and this will be your minus P. Okay. Now we'll work out for the values of X and Y. X is equal to just cross multiply. That is Q P plus Q. We'll take one minus of formula, and one minus is here, so it will it will become plus plus P P minus Q. Is equal to again y your p minus q q minus p p plus q is equal to minus one. This will be your minus one upon Minus p square and minus q square minus q square. Okay, so we we'll solve this one. This becomes x upon q p plus q square plus p square minus p q. Your p q and p q will be cancelled. This is equal to y upon q p. Minus q square minus p square minus p q. This is again cancelled, and this is equal to one upon p square plus q square because we have taken minus common. So we are here. So for finding the value of x and y, you have to compare. See on comparing, on comparing. X upon x upon p square plus q square is equal to one upon p square plus q square. You can see that these two terms will be cancelled. Implies implies x is equal to one. Again again y upon will take minus here common, so this becomes. Q square plus P square is equal to one upon P square plus Q square implies Y is equal to minus one. So this is how we obtain the value of the variable if the linear equation in two variable is given in constant other than numerical value. Thank you.